Hey guys, so today I will be sharing with you guys a few savage combinations that I used against Jeff Chen when I was flying with him. So make sure you guys stay tuned. So before we begin, I'm gonna show you guys the basic mechanics on the savat kicks. So the first one's gonna be called the footay or the round kick. In savat, because typically we have to wear shoes, so a lot of times we can only make the impact with the shoes either on the bottom, the heel, or the toe. So this is gonna be a very specific for the round kick. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn the body sliding angle. I'm gonna point my hip and my knee towards my target like so, and you just extend it out and you bring it back. This, you can go low with a bent knee. You can go low or high to the body. Sometimes if you have the flexibility, you can go to the high to the head. But I, the idea is I wanna bring my hip forward so my hip and knees align together and you're gonna strike with the toes. You can do so by doing the left foot or you move out to do the right foot like that. So that's gonna be a foot take. Number two, we call this chasse. Chasse basically is gonna be a side kick. When I do a side kick, shift your body weight first. You can lift your knee like so and you just strike low, we we'll call it chasse ba, or it can go a little higher to the body like so. If the partner is a little too far, we will have to slide forward. So what happens is if I'm here, I try to kick, notice how the distance is off. So what I do is I slide like that and you'll bring it back. So that's called chasse. So the next one is gonna be Havel, which is gonna be a frontal or a lateral. So we talk about this one, the first one on the front toe is my body don't move. I'm gonna stay square and I basically just let my foot comes across this way, draws a horizontal line and I bring it back down. You can flex your toes, we can point your toe, either way it doesn't really matter. So what I'm doing is I don't move my body, I stay square, lift my foot up and I bring it back up across the line and then bring it back down. So one more time. This is gonna be a front toe, so basically what my body's gonna do is I have a target line here, I just bring my foot across, boom, and then bring it back. The next one's gonna be a lateral, but there's different ways to do this. The first one is when his hand is up, I let my body go completely sideways and I just let my foot go across like that and then bring it back. So one more time, turn my body, my hip goes through and then bring it back. You have another version where you kind of slap with it. So when I slap, I'm gonna bring my foot chamber back like how you do a round kick. So once I'm doing this, I slap. And then now you can either attack low or attack high with the same position. So one more time, I bring my foot up and I slap it. And I chamber like how you do a round kick. So if I will face the camera, what you're gonna see is this, like that. And then you kind of see my foot chambers back in the round, round kick position, but we're actually not gonna fire through, okay? The third option is we're gonna kick and I'll bring it back like a side kick. So this time when I kick, boom, and I'll chamber it back to my left side. So one more time, I turn, I kick, and I bring it back this way for a side kick low. We can do a side kick high as a combination. So one more time, so high, and then re-chamber to this side. So that's three variations on the lateral uh, Havel. So the first combination is gonna be Havel to Chasse. Now you can do a Chasse to the body or you can Chasse to the leg. So the way I like to set up is when we're striking, when he's a little further away from me, I'm gonna do this way. Mm. I can let my body comes around so you can see this, like that. So when he starts to defend, I chamber. Now I have a side kick high or I can go up here to a side kick low. Sometimes, which happened to me a lot, which is I do this, he backs it off, then bam, I'll slide my foot across. Sorry, Mike. What you're gonna see is this, he backs it off, boom, and I just follow through with a side kick. A lot of times what I'll do is I go here, and a side kick low, and then follow through with a punch. You can do the same thing with the left foot, one and two. If he backs it off, one and then two. So that's gonna be Javier, high, you can do a frontal or a horizontal or lateral, either way is okay. If I do it this way, I'll slap, I'll bring it back this way, now I can chasse low, or sometimes I'll go through, slap it, and then you can do a forte on the other side. You'll notice how the hand goes through, back touch, and you can forte uh, middle, or you can touch, or forte low to the leg. So these are the combination one. So here we go with the spawning footage. The first one I fake high, I see vase, I chamber to the low chasse. Another example right here, again a fake high, kick low. On this one, I went low into a foot tape, which technically I was a little bit too close. Make sure you guys check out the full video from Jeff Chen's YouTube channel. Number two is gonna be foot tape to chasse. So with this one, what I'll do is I'm gonna foot tape low like that. Sometimes I'll fake it and then chasse like right away. Sometimes when I'm here, when I'm fighting him, he's not back up and then bang, the foot just slide right through. you notice when I slide, my foot is gonna be like this, and all I'm gonna do is slide and carry my weight with it. What you don't wanna do is here, and then try to kick, and then turn the body this way, because you're gonna lose your balance. So every time I'm here, I foot tail low, 
and then bam, there's a chasse to the middle, or you're gonna kick, and then chasse low to the leg, which is called chasse ba. So one more time, forte low, and then chasse, or I can forte high to chasse low, like that. So that's gonna be number two, which is forte and chasse. So here I fire a round kick into a side kick. You notice when Jeff scoops my leg out, I chamber, rebalance, and then fire through with a low side kick to his leg. And here Jeff defends it by scoop my leg out. Number three, this is my personal favorite one, but it's also a little harder to do, which is gonna be a round kick to either crescent kick or heel kick. Then you're back to a side kick to the body or side kick to the knee. So to do it slow, I'm gonna go one, two, and then three. Or you can go one, two, and then three like that. What I like to do in the sparring is I'll fake the first shot and I go high and then bomb to the leg. Or sometimes I go at this, he backs it off, boom and I'll side kick right through the body. Remember, you wanna carry all your body weight forward, otherwise if I side kick him like this, there's no power. So one more time, I'm here, forte, hava, and chasse. One last time, kick, bring across, and then he backs it off, boom, follow through the line, okay? We'll change angle for force for camera purposes. So again, I fake the first shot, boom, and chasse right away. So that's gonna be number three. So I had to make a few adjustments during the sparring. What happens is when I follow the low kick and into the high line crescent kick, I notice my body was too far. So then I had to slide forward, you will notice my foot is off the ground. By the time when I land, I follow through another side kick. So here comes the number four. Number four is gonna be a forte high into a chasse mid or chasse bas. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go high and then drop to chasse low, or I'll kick high to chasse middle, or can Technically, you can go to the face, but for training purposes, I don't do it. But you could, you can forte high, and then chasse low. Sometimes I'll go like this, I'll fake, and I'll change angle like that. Or I can kick, you touch, and then you side kick on an off angle. So these are the options that you can play. You don't always have to use only strike with the real leg or the same leg. So one more time. I'm here, we're moving. I go step, one, and two. You notice as soon as you try to block, I pull back, and I just side kick him. If he's leaning back, like he leans back, boom, see? Now I just kick straight to the body, which happens a lot with people that try to tend to lean backwards, boom, now the body's open. Now I just gonna push him off for the side, side kick, okay? So this very last one, I go into a high kick into a side kick. What happens is when you kick high, when they evade, it leaves the body open. From there, I chamber a mid side kick to the body. Here's a failed attempt that I tried to go high with the side kick. I noticed my distance was too far. Please keep in mind that in Savat, because typically we wear shoes for, for, uh, for striking and spawning purposes. So because the rule set, we're not supposed to kick with the shin. You could combine this with the Muay Thai or other kickboxing method. But because if we're gonna talk about specifically just Savat, we can only be striking with the shoes, okay? Um, another one I need to mention is every combination I showed today, you can do a left side into right side, or I can just do left side only, or I can start mixing the left, right, and then left. So all that combination is free and flexible to play around. And I hope you guys like the video. Let me know if you like more Savat video. If you do, I'll be making more contents like this. If you have any question, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.